Technology and innovation have brought countless benefits to human beings through history. But now, the way that we use and produce energy, especially in developed countries, is causing us a huge problem. CO2 emissions are rising rapidly, and as a result, the world is getting warmer. Global warming will have catastrophic consequences for people, for animals, but also for economies. Technology has caused part of our problem, but in fact, technology and innovation are essential to any solution to climate change. Unfortunately, at the moment, we make it far too hard for good and proven technologies to make their way out to the marketplace. How can we improve our innovation systems so that we bring about this transition to a low-carbon future? An innovation system consists of various people, processes and resources necessary for bringing a new product to market. Each system's strength depends on how well these parts work together. Although they may be invisible to the naked eye, every country and region has an innovation system. Many climate innovations are already available on today's markets. Even so, only a quarter of the world's power capacity currently comes from renewable resources. To meet the scientific requirements of 80% reductions in CO2 emissions by 2050, we must reduce our energy consumption and increase the use of renewable energy. The trend of rapidly increasing emissions must turn to rapid reductions before the year 2020. So, if there's no lack of technology to combat climate change, what actually is the problem? Studies commissioned by WWF indicate a range of interdependent elements in innovation systems that determine the success of spreading climate innovations. Seeing is believing. Introducing a new climate technology requires showing customers and investors how it works. Facilitating demonstration projects and cost sharing is vital when pushing for the advancement of climate innovations. The most powerful driver for deploying any innovation at scale is market pull. Ambitious strategies for energy efficiency and procurement must be used to stimulate market demand from both the public and the private sectors. Without financial support, an innovation stands little chance of ever reaching the market. Public funds dominate in the development phase and private capital in the expansion phase. Limited expertise on climate change is often a major barrier for companies developing new energy solutions that are capital-intensive and time-consuming. More than 80% of the world's energy still comes from nuclear power and fossil fuels. If we are to succeed in reversing the emissions trend before 2020, at least five times more capital needs to be invested in energy efficiency and renewable energy compared to current levels. Markets need clear political signals to be motivated and energized for the transition to a low-carbon future. Well-informed policies can strengthen the performance of innovation systems, stimulate market demand, and attract investors to finance climate innovations. The struggle against climate change and global warming is not a competition to be won by individual countries or companies. It is a challenge we all face and one that we must meet with collective action. Only through cooperation can we develop new technologies, stimulate new markets and build supportive frameworks for high-performance innovation systems that have the potential to improve the living standards of everyone on Earth. A lot of people will tell you that investing in clean tech and climate solutions involves high risks and high costs. 
At the same time, though, this is one of the fastest growing sectors in the world. We also have to consider the alternative. If we continue with the business as usual scenario, the ultimate costs will be far higher and the consequences much more severe. It's not about technology. We have the technologies we need, we just need to get them out there. It's about how we will reach a low carbon future and restore the balance between nature and the people who depend on it. And that means each and every one of us.